Hey y'all, this is Anthony from Rock and Prince, and thanks for watching this video. In today's episode, we are going to embroider this design that I got for free purchasing my Rakoma 2002 Rakoma machine, embroidery machine. You get 20 additional free images that you can download, and we're going to use one of them today. We're going to go ahead and embroider this, that design on a blue 100% cotton gilded t shirt. We're going to put this design on the left chest area and we're going to use my embroidery machine and also we're going to use the mighty hoops so hope y'all like this video and if you do please remember to like share subscribe leave a comment i greatly appreciate it. it's going to help me grow my channel and with that let's go ahead and get this started <music> guys so we're going to use the mighty hoop for this design we're going to go ahead and get this all set up i'm going to put the backing on here for just like that close these flaps i love this thing man and then lastly we're going to put the shirt on so this is a big shirt so i'm going to try to get it on the left hand side of the chest on this shirt. So I'm gonna have to try to figure this out, how I can do this. Okay, so I want the design to go up here, so we'll get that done. Let's go ahead and get our Mighty Hoop set up. All right, and there's where I want it to go right there all right let's take it to the let's take it to the recall machine right, so first what i'm going to do is i'm going to erase this i'm going to unlock it and then we're going to take off this design and let's go we're going to delete it oops Wait. oops let's go back Go to machine, and we're going to delete that out of the system. Let's go back. All right, so nothing's in there now. Now we'll go back, and we are going to select USB, which is already selected, and we're going to do dog. There we go. Now we're going to save it. Then we're gonna go back to machine and we're gonna select it. Okay, but one thing that I gotta do is I gotta change it back to hoops. So we're gonna use the mighty hoop. So we're gonna go with this one right there. Let the machine make its adjustments. And we are good. All right, guys, for this design, we're going to have to select our colors. So color number one, they want a, a light yellow. So we're going to go with this yellow right here. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to write this down on my paper. And then number two is going to be blue. So we're going to go with the dark, dark blue in the very back. That's going to be 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then 3 is going to be black, which is going to be 4. Then we, they want a dark gray, so we're going to use 5. And that's going to be that one right there. And then we want pink, so that's going to be number 1. 
up there. Um, then we want some kind of beige. So um, we'll go with brown in the very back. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And we're gonna go back to gray. They want a light, a dark gray. So now it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. We we'll use that gray. And then we're gonna go back with black again. So black is gonna be four. And then we want white, which is gonna be three. And then black again, which is gonna be four. Okay, so there's the color code sequence and let's import this in the machine. All right, so let's select the colors. So go to color here and we're gonna do seven. So we're just gonna follow the sequence. So seven is gonna be, and then 16 for two, um, four, five, one, 12, six, four, three, and four. And I should have a total of 10 colors in the board. One to, up to 10, there it is. So let me just double check, seven, 16, four, five, one, 12, six, four, three, and four. Okay, we're good to go. So before I do this, this actual um, sequence, I'm gonna test run it before I put the shirt in to find out how important it is to always do a test before you start embroidering because you can make mistakes and it can be costly. I'm finding that out as I, I learned this machine. So let's go ahead and we already did the tracing. We added the colors, lock it in place and let's go ahead and start this up. But before I start, I want to make sure that all of my all of my thread is is um, all set up in every needle before we start up. Got all my threads in place. Let's go ahead and start this. It was at this moment I knew I messed up big time. Well, you guys. <laughs> oh my God. Just when I thought I had every all the colors in place and I even double checked, you still gotta verify oh, that you yeah. got everything right. Oh, so you see, I imported some colors wrong. The oh. orange was supposed to be black. Oh, I gotta stop, I gotta stop. And, um, and it's a good thing, I'm so happy that I didn't embroider on the shirt. I would've messed it up. One more thing, the, the image was set upside down and it should have been set up upside right upright so that would have already that would have been a big problem too i would have embroidered it upside down so i managed to flip it on the computer and save it on my usb and we're going to go and set it up and we're going to fix those colors and we're going to go ahead and embroider on this shirt okay i got the shirt all set up i got all the correct i made all the corrections and I did my tracing and we're good to go.
All right, guys, so here's the final result. I'm just gonna do some touch-ups here. You guys can see these. Okay. Let's pull this off. Take this out. And there it is. Hope you liked this video. And if you did, please remember to like and subscribe, share, leave a comment. I greatly appreciate it to help support my channel. We'll see you guys back next week. Thanks for watching. Peace.